up my boys? What is that? Hello? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, That Chocolate Bean with me, Erin Wells. And you read that title correctly? This is part one of my raw vegan diet. Let's get started. Good morning guys, good morning. <clears throat> First time I'm talking, wow, okay. It is Friday, January 8th, 11.58 in the morning, AKA 12 noon. I'm just now getting up because it's my off day. It is day one of raw vegan. I am super, super excited. Um, I got these Boosted Energize Smoothie Cubes from um, Kroger. It has pineapple plus mango with matcha green tea and bananas. So I've already tried it. I like it except for the matcha green tea cubes. They were not delicious. Um, I don't have any other groceries. So we will be going to the grocery store today. I, even though I did not prep, I did plan. I have my list of what I want to make. Okay, is that enough? I don't know. I'm going to add another banana because I got it. All right, I got some more um, frozen bananas here. So, um, and the reason, I don't think I've said it before, the reason I'm doing the raw this time, I mean, one, it's always great to do a raw fast, but my energy has just been crappy lately, y'all, with or without coffee, don't matter. It's just been crappy. I'm having trouble getting up, and then I'm having trouble going to sleep. So, it's like... Ooh, what is it now of course the weight loss part is a major benefit but I'm really doing it for my energy this time because it's just been so crappy almond milk for anybody who doesn't know my blender said more milk so more milk than that it's good could be a little sweeter but I know my taste buds are gonna adjust mmm Ooh, it's so cold. I gotta go sit by a heater. Also for breakfast, I'm gonna have the leftovers of the sushi stack from the last video, only obviously not the rice. I wrapped up, ooh, headache y'all. I think it's caffeine. I haven't had coffee in, today's Friday. I haven't had coffee since Wednesday, Tuesday, which I know is not a long time, but I don't know why else I would have a headache. So this looks gross, but it's the leftovers from the sushi stack. Here is the artichoke hearts, the cucumbers, and the yum yum sauce. I'm gonna add some purple cabbage and carrots that I just happen to have from when I made vegan egg rolls for a client. So boom, just dropped all that in the bowl. Purple cabbage, yum yum sauce. You, you saw the last video, if you didn't, I made a sushi stack in the last video. So if you wanna know what's in here, go watch. Okay, this is also going to be breakfast. Come on, sushi for breakfast. Mmm. Mmm. I'll see you guys at the grocery store because I told you I got plans. You can't see that. Bye. Y'all, it is 5.30 p.m. and I'm just now getting home. I... I am not hungry per se, but I want some food. I ain't gonna lie, like I just wanna chew something. So I'm probably gonna just eat some trail mix and I'm gonna go ahead and start soaking everything that needs to be soaked. Um, I don't know if you guys want a haul of what I bought, but you gonna get it. <sighs> I think that's it from the farmer's market. The rest are for my client um, tomorrow. She's having a full spread. I think I'll vlog it, but as long as she's comfortable being on camera or that she doesn't mind her session being recorded, I gotta start bringing reusable bags. I, I hate that I'm using so much plastic. So the sushi video that you already watched, I'm about to edit that right now. And so what I'm gonna snack on, I really thought I bought pecans and I'm very sad. <laughs> I'm very sad about it. Um, so I guess I'll just, cause I'm gonna, I, I need all those cashews. So I'm gonna do um, raisin and walnut, snack on that, and maybe some grapes, but I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I'm about to be boring. Sit down, I gotta start editing, so I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, I'm probably gonna drink a juice too. Let's do, what is this one? Organic barley pear, ooh yeah, that sounds good. This one has pear, apple, and ginger. So I'm gonna drink that, boom. I'm gonna be full, cause it's nuts. Bye. Okay guys, I am done editing. The video is currently uploaded on YouTube right now. It is 
9.03 p.m. And it's one more thing I want to do before I head to bed. That looks good. That looks real good. Oh, you're talking on my, my friend is over here. But anyway, before I get ready for bed, um, I do want to do the viral The Devil Eggs by Miss Tabitha Brown. I did get the white mushrooms that she used. So this is eight ounces. We're going to rinse this off because there's lots of uh, visual dirt on here. And then we're going to drop it in the pickle jar and we're going to make deviled eggs tomorrow. I'm very nervous about this. For anybody who's new, I have deviled eggs on my channel already, but it's with potatoes. But we're going to put these in pickle juice and black salt. And, uh... Good morning guys, happy day two of my raw vegan fast. We're gonna go ahead and do these um, deviled eggs. I noticed what y'all are waiting on. Even though this is not completely raw because we are using uh, chickpeas and sorry about my, I'm washing dishes so that's what you guys hear in the background. So wait a minute, let me pull up Miss Tabitha, make sure we ain't skipping nothing. We wanna follow the recipe of what Miss Tabitha said, okay? Let's pull up the page, let's find it. This gotta be it. Uh, you like deviled eggs? Me too. Let's make some. So the whole can goes in. All right. Ooh. Gonna drain the water out. All right. One tablespoon of relish. Uh. Two. I got another bottle somewhere because this is empty. I think I think I'm gonna do go with three, three tablespoons of relish. It's hard where you don't just squirt in, but you measuring people. One and a half tablespoons of mustard. Let's do our mayo. Let me rinse this off. One. All right, let's see how I feel about four tablespoons of mayo. Let's see how we feel about that. Let's mix it all up. We need some dill. Let's do half a tablespoon of dill going in. All right. Half a tablespoon of garlic powder going in. Okay. Boom. And then last but not least, you need the black salt. Got my black salt powder that I get from uh, Buford Highway's Farmer's Market. Uh, there's two on Buford Highway I get it from, actually. Um, it's at Nam De Nam. Okay. All right, so I'm also doing a half a tablespoon of black salt. This is what gives it that extra eggy taste. Oh, it smells so good. Stir it up real good. Uh-huh. Add a little salt. Add a little salt. Add a little pepper. Add a little pepper. That on there, okay. Okay. All right, I think I think we're ready. Should I? I don't want to taste it now. I want the full experience. All right, let's get our mushrooms out. I had them like this all night, um, so just flipping it over to open it up. Smell like it. Definitely smell like it. All right. They still have a mushroom texture, and that's why I am so concerned. But I said I was gonna get us a good college try. I'm shaking them off. She didn't say what you do when you take them out. I'm gonna shake them off a little bit. All right, I think that's enough. Woo, this is cold. There's probably like three more floating in there, but you'll be all right. All right, and then we just stuff these bad boys in there. Okay. All right, my paprika don't have a sprinkle uh, cap on it, so we gotta be careful. All right, there we go. All right, let's try it. Okay, guys, I'm also trying this live on Instagram as well, so we both gonna find out what the deal is with our double eggs, all right. 
All right, so here they are, guys. Now, before I take my first bite, y'all know I'm a little biased because I have my own devil egg recipe. Very similar, but I'm just saying. So, all right, here we go. Pick up a good one. All right, cheers. It's good. It's good. I was really worried about a mushroom taste, but the pickles and the black salt got rid of all that. So if I'm looking for a low carb swap for, because I use potatoes, I'll definitely do this, okay? You don't taste any mushroom, zero. It's good, I like it. I like it. Which do I prefer? I mean, looks wise, I still like mine. Um, I could have eased off a little on the salt, but I like them both. Full disclosure, as much as I do not want to admit it, I like them both. I like mine. Mine will be more of a potato salad because it's made out of potato, and this will be more of a low carb bite idea. So make this. All right, Tabitha girl. I mean, not that you needed my, you didn't need my props, but all right. So this is breakfast. Oh, and I'm drinking my other drink. This one is um, organic carrot, Fuji apple, and organic celery. Excuse me now, I have to get ready for my cooking class because it starts in an hour and a half, so let me clean up the kitchen for her. <laughs> okay guys, just got done with my cooking class, y'all. So, it was a success. I did taste, full disclosure, um, I think I told you guys I was gonna be tasting my food. So I did taste the mac and cheese. She took all of it. Y'all see all the dishes we created. Um, here's what we made. We made oyster mushrooms, mac and cheese, uh, with coconut bacon on top, uh, curry cabbage, sweet potato souffle, right? Um, she loved it. I love doing cooking classes. One of you guys started, you hit me up, you wanted to have a cooking class. I said, hey, fine by me. Now I'm ready to eat. I'm actually not hungry. I'm shocked that I'm not hungry. I mean, literally, I just had a bite of the mac and cheese. I didn't taste anything else. Um, and it's 3.44 p.m. Anyway, not hungry, but I want to eat. So I made a beautiful salad that is raw-ish. This is the chickpeas from the devil eggs, carrot, tomato, jalapenos, purple cabbage, all over a bed of lettuce. Look at that. Oh, that's Instagram right there. But guess what I'm about to eat right now for the dressing. Hold on. Chesame's Green Goddess dressing. Pretty expensive. I need to make this stuff myself. But uh, yeah. This is gonna be my dressing on top of my salad. So this is going to be lunch, dinner, I don't know. <laughs> For dessert, guys, I'm gonna have the rest of my um, smoothie blend. Well, no, I got a little bit more in here. But I made a smoothie with this, and I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just gonna top it with uh, pecans and raisins, and I'm gonna sit down for a minute, cause I'm tired, I've been moving all day, so. Wow, I look like the elite homeless. Wow. Last time I saw y'all, it is now 7-12. Last time I saw y'all, I don't know what time it was, but I had the smoothie. The smoothie made me so cold, which is why I have this jacket on. So I need to get some spinach and some iron into my life because it immediately made me cold. Washing machine, please. And so I took a little, uh, not a nap, but I got in the bed. I was so cold, so I was just chilling in the bed scroll on social media. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Let's make some raw burgers, and then I think I'm gonna make some coconut curry soup. Hopefully you can hear me, cause the washing machine wants to do spin dry when I hit record. Okay guys, this is uh, just the chickpeas from earlier. I just didn't wash it out, cause I knew I'd be using it again. Call me lazy, don't care. Now these walnuts have been soaking overnight, which is not long enough, but I feel like because I'm gonna dehydrate them, they'll be okay. So let's do about a cup. Wait, is my cup washed? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and drain these. Again, one day is not long enough. Yeah, these are still like I did. I mean, like they like nothing happened. All right, one cup, and I'm gonna re-soak the rest of these for a future recipe. Let's do some liquid aminos. I know some of y'all be measuring, trying to be more conscious of that. Uh, two catfuls. <laughs> I know somebody is mad, like what does that mean? Two catfuls. 
A little dash, I can't measure this. A little dash of liquid, um, dash of liquid smoke. Some steak seasoning. A whole half of a small onion. Uh, what you call this? Half a bell pepper. I don't know what it's going in. Onion powder. And you know we're going to do garlic powder right after this. Garlic powder. I started off measuring and I immediately stopped. I just can't, I don't know what to tell you. Now I'm bougie so I got the pre-peeled garlic. I hate peeling garlic and I refuse to use the jarred garlic. So this is my in-between, okay? I'm gonna do four cloves and see how I feel. Four cloves of garlic. Now I need some salt. Oh, I'm so excited for these burgers, honey. This recipe we making up. Shake, 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 shake. All right. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it smells good. Now, you remember last year I made mush. Did I make mush again? They light skin. Oh, you know what? I think last year I had some mushrooms in here. We don't have that. Oh, we got a good smell, though. Oh, that's a good smell. Oh, my gosh. A little salty on the back end. But that is the flavors. So good. But, yeah, a little salty on that. Woo! Or maybe it's the bite of ginger. Something is... Rah! Let's put it in our dehydrator, or you can stop right here and put this with, this could be your walnut meat for your tacos as well. Um, any kind of mint, anything, but I'm gonna try to make burgers out of here. Here we go. All right, you guys remember my dehydrator. We have not pulled her out since last year. Uh, we'll, that will need all these sections, so let's just do two. Less washing for me to do. Let's start with one and see if we need the second one. All right. You know, I should have put some chia or some flax in here to help it to hold. I didn't think of that. All right, so we only needed one shelf, so we're all done. I'm gonna close that up, and I'm gonna put it on medium because I'm not sure how to work this thing, all right? Medium. It is now 7.28, so we'll come back in the morning and that should definitely be finished. All right, now let's make our coconut curry soup. So I'm taking another half an onion, but this one is larger. Cut that on in our food processor. I'm gonna take half of this orange bell pepper. We can probably eat the stem, but I'm gonna take it off. I'm definitely eating these seeds. Why not use the whole one? I don't know. I'm just making up a recipe, people. We're gonna use the rest of our garlic cloves that we have in here. Let's see, four cloves of garlic. Boom, in there. Gonna go ahead and process this on up. Smells like we're gonna make a, a chili with this. Alrighty, so this is our base. Now we're gonna add salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and get our curry powder. Y'all, I'm making this up. Like, I mean, I know what's in it, but I, I'm, I'm making up the recipe. That's about a tablespoon for anybody who's actually doing this. Probably gonna use more. We're just starting off with a base. Oh, that smells good. Oh, I haven't had curry in a minute. <laughs> um, I don't know if tomato paste is raw, but we're gonna use it. Let me let me see. Let's just it just says tomato paste and citric acid, so I don't know. We're gonna use it though. Oh, this might be too much. Already, I used I use half a can. I'm gonna add some more curry. Oh, that actually smells good. Don't smell like curry per se anymore. So another teaspoon of curry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all the tomato paste we can use, y'all. Now I gotta freeze the rest. And now we have our coconut milk. This wasn't in the fridge, but it's still solidified. So it, this is gonna be some good thick. There we go, there's the, the juice. Mmm, yum, yum. This is sarcasm. This looks disgusting. 
I'm gonna add some turmeric just for nutrition and color. About a teaspoon. Since I forgot to cut up some ginger in here, y'all, we're gonna cheat and use some powdered ginger. Ooh, Ooh child, you scared me, child. You can't come in with a woo. Girl. Ugh. All right, that's about a teaspoon, maybe a little less than a teaspoon. Mmm. That's actually good, really tomatoey though. So I will add a fourth of this container. Mmm. That's good. So what we're gonna do, a little bit more salt. Flavor is amazing, actually. I'm impressed. <laughs> a little more pepper. Boom. All right, so in goes our soup. So because it's already blended, I'm just gonna put some cabbage and it's a little onion in here. This is gonna be in its own little corner. We got some cilantro. Hold on, let me rinse this. I have green peppers, but we already have green, and I'm about to add some lime, so just know if you had the red bell pepper slices, to put it along here as well. And to finish everything off, we're gonna do some red pepper flakes. That up the game. See how she went to Instagram baddie real quick? Look at that. Oh, what you talking? <laughs> Not to me. Oh gosh, y'all listen. Get ready for bed. You know I am. Let's give it all a try. Oh, now you gotta mess it up basically. Basically. All right. Oh, it's so good. We dropped the lime. I ain't trying to get poked. I would cut up the cilantro some more because I feel like it's a leaf in my teeth. It's not even a lot of curry. You can go in on some more curry, actually. But anyway, dessert are going to be these fresh uh, cherries because we pay too much and I eat these every day. And the grapes, let's be clear. I'm out. I'll see y'all day three. Good morning, y'all. Uh, I have on way too much makeup for no reason. I'm literally going, no, I am going to brunch, but this still, still. Anyway, it is now 9.53 a.m., a.k.a. 10 o'clock in the morning. My dehydrator is still going on, so I want to go ahead and turn it off. I'm excited to see what our burgers look like. Oh, so oh it looks the same. Wow. They are done. All right, let me bring it closer for you guys. Actually, it's a little crunchy. Like, let's break it open. All right, let's taste it, even though I would not eat it solid like this. I put a lot of garlic. Ooh. Y'all, that's good. Mmm, it's crunchy, but we knew it was gonna be crunchy. I just thought about it. The walnuts weren't, um, they were never sauce. Yeah. It tastes more like garlic and peppers. I don't really taste any walnut. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay. So I'm going to brunch with my next potential business partner. And I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna have a salad. Um the place is called Cultivate, it has amazing vegan options. But it doesn't matter, I'm on raw, so huh. I'm probably gonna have a salad and I think they have fruit. So but you guys will see all that. This is so good. Okay, before I go, y'all, my lovely line sister got me these waist beads from Ghana. Hold on, get into them. Do y'all see that? Gorgeous. So I'm gonna tie these around my waist and I'll be right back to show you guys. And the only reason I'm not showing you guys on camera is because I'm about to watch YouTube tutorials on how to tie these around your waist. So I don't know either, let's be clear. Okay, so I did it, but I did it super wrong. Um, I only put on two because I, just in case these fall off, I will be devastated if I have zero waist beads. So I left the um, more colorful one in case somebody else needs to do it. So let me back up and show you guys. Can y'all see? 
I did it for, again. This was not the fall. Like that looks like I lost weight. Okay guys, I am back home now. The time is 4.20 p.m. I'm not hungry, but I'm ready to eat again. So I thought we would make our carrot cake. Before we start this up, I still have not tasted these golden berries, so I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, they're sticky, they must be ripe. Well, I still gotta wrench it off, right? Let me wrench it off. Okay, it's wrenched. Oh gosh, it's so sour. Ooh, golden berries, AKA cake gooseberries. I'm gonna torture myself one more time. I'm not ranching this one off because it really don't do nothing. You need a vegetable wash. Oh. Oh my gosh. What do people eat that for? That's so sour. Thank you for coming to our taste test. Let's, let's make our cake. Now I know I said I wasn't going back to the store, but I was literally, y'all already know the deal with the shredded carrots. I had to go get some more carrots. So, here we are. Two cups into the food processor. Boom, let's set that aside and do our date. I got actual bowls for y'all. Stepping up my game. I went and bought real mixing bowls. Ew. We got our dates, two cups of these bad boys. I cannot get over how these look like little roaches and it's so disgusting. Ugh. Okay, let's add that in with the carrots because I believe this is all gonna get mixed in together. Boom. All right, these are the same walnuts that have been soaking now for what, two days? Still hard as a rock. Oh, oh this was a little softer. But anyway, we're gonna use them. Just barely we made it, two cups. I got all our ingredients together now so I don't have to keep walking back and forth. We got our two cups of walnut. Now we're gonna do our two teaspoons of vanilla extract. That's what I'm using right here. Teaspoon of cinnamon. Some shakes of nutmeg. Some shakes of salt. Some shakes of the ginger powder. All right, squeeze out one tablespoon. I'm gonna squeeze out another. Right, two tablespoons, we in there. All right, let's blend. Let me see. I don't know, I'm gonna blend it a little bit more. I don't know how, how, how dense it's supposed to be. Okay, according to the recipe, we're supposed to add everything back in now. So we put it all back in here to create a dough. Okay. I don't know what a dough look like, a raw dough. I don't know. Okay, now it says add our coconut flour. How much coconut? A half a cup, okay, we got that. A half a cup of coconut flour. All right, let's do this. Okay, and a fourth a cup of raisins. Oh, oh, this looking real cakeish. Let me roll up my sleeves. Can we mix now? Hold on. Okay, add coconut flour and stir to combine. So first we stir. Real classy. Oh, okay. I'm gonna stir to combine. Let me get my chunks out the way of my coconut flour. Y'all, it smell good. Okay, I'm thinking I gotta use my hands with this. Uh-uh, this ain't gonna work. Okay, that, yeah, I, yeah, this ain't gonna work. No, we got to get in here. And she has a frosting recipe too. You guys already saw that on the screenshot. So, we are definitely gonna make the frosting as well. I wanna taste a little piece, cause I just know it's good. It looked gross. I know this looks like, I know this looks like high class dog food, but I, oh, that is good. I would love for this to have a frosting, so let's make it. Alrighty, I promise you the blender, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the food processor since it's already dirty. We're gonna take out our cashews that we soaked two days ago, so they are good and ready. Cashews are overnight and they're good to go. So let me drain off this water. I'm gonna take a cup of these bad boys. 
one and one fourth cup. Oh, I'm so excited. I already know this is going to be good. I trust her now. One and don't feel like dirtying up a cup. So we're going to say that's a fourth. One and one fourth cup. Three tablespoons of maple syrup. This might be my new frosting. If this is banging, this can be my frosting for everything. I can put raw frosting and people feel so healthy. They're going to feel so healthy. Two tablespoons of lemon juice. One. All right, and two. We're going to take a half a cup of coconut milk. Basically, what I'm going to do is just take the fatty part out. That's a half a cup, I already know. So all this fatty part. I will make a smoothie with the rest of this liquid later. Last but not least, we're gonna do one teaspoon of our vanilla extract. <sighs> vanilla extract? I don't know what I just said. Oh, it's not smooth. Let me show y'all what it looked like. It is not smooth. She needs some liquid for sure, okay? I was thinking thickness and that ain't what we doing. Let's go ahead and do a whole half a cup. Definitely better. Okay, let's give it a try. Since I added more liquid, let's see. Okay. Mmm. I like it. I want it a little bit sweeter. So I'm gonna add another tablespoon of maple syrup. I can still go sweeter, but it's going with the carrot cake. So I'm gonna leave it right there. I'm gonna leave it right there. All right, so I got out my loaf pan and I'm gonna stick some parchment paper inside. So we're gonna put this cake in here. So y'all know how I do. Most of my creations are ugly and then when I cut it, it's pretty. Cause this looks horrendous. And I do mean horrendous. That's ugly. But you wait till we cut this bad boy open in about an hour and put it in the fridge. We're gonna eat it in like an hour. And I'm gonna decorate it real cute. Cause you deserve the best, all right? Okay, I lied, I'm back. Um, the time is now five, let me get the correct time. The time is now 5.15 in case anybody wants to know how long that actually took me to make it. Hopefully I told y'all the time at the beginning. I don't know. Um, mine is about 10 minutes of me going back and forth. So whatever that time is, how long it took to make that cake. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and make the cashew cheese because I want, I want another burger. One half of an orange bell pepper. I'm gonna have the guest to make this because my two tablespoons is very dirty. So we're gonna say two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. About right there. Plus you can never have too much nutritional yeast unless you just don't eat it. I usually use two cups. <laughs> But I know this is not two cups worth, so let's just see how, how much cashews this is. There's one cup. So it's about a cup and a fourth of cashews that I'm using, but the recipe I usually do is two cups. Some salt. And let's do a half a cup of salsa because I don't have a cup of cashews. So just a half a cup of salsa. I wanna do a little bit of garlic. I usually don't, but I feel like that'll really kick this up a notch garlic in there now when this happens I usually just add some more salsa let's go ahead and make it a full cup of salsa probably this whole container huh all right that's my whole little container this whole thing was a cup first time I added garlic oh too much salsa since I licked it I won't share this with anybody <laughs> I'm gonna add about another tablespoon, okay, of nutritional yeast. I knew that ratio wasn't good, so maybe um, just use water to thin it out. So I would do, if you're gonna follow this particular recipe, I would do a half a cup of water and a half a cup of salsa. Don't add more salsa, because now it just, it took it over. Oh yeah, uh-huh, much better. All right, let's build our burger, because I'm, I'm slick hungry. I don't know what happened. I wasn't hungry when I first got in here.
Here we go, our raw cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, onions, pickles, our cheese, our walnut burger, what, what? Walnut burger and more pickles, cause aesthetics. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna eat this. Dessert is gonna be the rest of the cherries and then I'll get back with you guys. Well, oh, actually no. Dessert is the carrot cake. I mean, I gotta wait another 30 minutes. Ugh, the ghetto. All right, guys, I am back. It's the same day, I just, Change clothes and meet up with a friend. This is way too small, but I don't feel like sending this back to Shein, so we're just gonna wear it open. That's that's fine by me. And I have another jacket. I know it's winter. It's just it matches my pants. Let's get back to the food, okay? So I just took our carrot cake out. It could actually. I almost want to freeze this, but it said don't freeze it. I don't know. She's not cute. Get into the details. We got 14 days, so we can try that at a later date to get our frosting better than this. Um, but this is what we got, so let's cut it. Y'all, look at this mess. What? Is, what is? What did I do? That is stupid. That don't look good at all. No, it does not. What about that? I don't know, y'all. Let me take pictures for, for Instagram. Oh, by the way, time check, it is 6.23 p.m. I'm debating on what, I'm so full, actually. Like I told y'all I ate more of the cashew cheese and lettuce and tomato. Basically, I had the burger, then I made another burger with no burger. But I had all the pickle, I had all the toppings, okay? So I'm stuffed. So this is just to taste this. Um, but I'm debating on whether I should bring something with me, just because I don't know how long it'll be good. I'll bring a banana and an apple. I ain't got no banana. This is bomb. Mmm. Very dense, but y'all saw that. Hold on, let me do another piece. I mean, it's raw dense. It ain't real like dense. I don't know. I like the cake more than the frosting because the texture is just not right. We gotta do it again. Mmm. Wow. All right, I'm too full. I can't. I'm eat this bite, and then I'm honestly gonna put it back. All right, boom, I'm gonna pack up my two apples, and I'm out. <laughs> As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you in part two. Peace.